Dear MAG members, dear Internet Governance community, it's a pleasure to take part in the IGF 2021 Open Consultations and MAG meeting. My name is Lucia Russo and I'm an economist at the Digital Economy Policy Division at the OECD. I'm grateful for the opportunity to present to you some of our main internet governance related initiatives. And I would like to congratulate the MAG members, the IGF Secretariat and Poland for the progress in organizing the 16th IGF meeting. At, at the OECD, we focus on supporting countries through evidence-based policy making. And a key element in this is our standard setting work. Only recently, the OECD adopted revised recommendations in the two main focus areas of this year's IGF. First, the recommendation on broadband connectivity, which provides a reference for policymakers and regulatory authorities to ensure that individuals and organizations are connected and that connectivity is expanded to unserved areas so that we can unleash the potential of the digital transformation. Second, the recommendation on children in the digital environment, which recognizes the particular vulnerabilities and needs of children, as well as the increasing amount of time and activities we conduct online. This recommendation supports government in setting coherent policies and legal frameworks so to enable children to flourish in the digital environment. We have also continued our analytical and measurement work related to internal governance in other projects. A few highlights are the Going Digital Horizontal project, which is now in its third phase and focuses on data governance for growth and, and well-being. The overall objective of the Going Digital Horizontal project is to provide countries with guidance on their, in their journey through the digital transformation. And previous phases of this project resulted in the elaboration of an integrated policy framework and in an online toolkit, which helps countries assess their state of digital development and formulate policies in response. Second, we continue our work on artificial intelligence with the help of the One AI multi-stakeholder expert group, we are developing tools for the implementation of the AI principles adopted in 2019. As part of this work, we developed a framework to classify AI system according to public policies and their potential impact of public policies. And this framework is currently open for public consultation. So we invite you to give your input and at the OECD.AI policy observatory. Third, another important area of work relates to trust, and in particular, the work on promoting transparency in tackling terrorist and extremist violent content online. We're drawing on the work of a multi-stakeholder expert group the OECD is currently developing a voluntary reporting framework that all companies could use and that all countries would accept that could promote both comparability and transparency. Last year, we also published a, a report on the approaches taken by the world's top 50 online platforms in this area, and we will soon publish a second edition. Finally, we are all aware that the past 18 months have been unusual in every respect. And the internet has been a, a lifeline for economies and societies. So it's even more now more important than ever that policies ensure robust, secure, and inclusive internet access and use. The OECD COVID-19 Digital Hub provides data analysis and recommendations to help countries confront this collective challenge, which is represented by the pandemic, including in areas such as digital technologies, connectivity, data, and trust. With this, I conclude my overview of internet governance related initiatives. And I thank you again for, for this opportunity. And I look forward to the deliberations of the open consultations and to the 2021 IGF. Thank you.